Oh my god, what am I doing? Hey guys, thank you for joining me today on Just Thinking Out Loud. I've been thinking about something and I kind of want your opinion. Should I quit YouTube? I started this channel because I was tired of people claiming to speak for me. I also wholly disagree with the collectivist mentality, but I don't think my channel in its current form is necessary anymore for me personally. I know my videos are very insightful for people and I could make endless videos on the topics of race and multiculturalism and social justice. It also doesn't bother me in the same way it bothers others to discuss sensitive things like IQ and I think people really need that and I think it needs to not be so taboo just because then the only people who talk about it are the people you really don't want to be talking about it. I'm the same way in my personal life. I would rather face something that makes me uncomfortable than shy away from it because I think otherwise you allow it to influence you in the shadows instead of being fully conscious of it. I have to go through it or it's never fully resolved. I also feel like I started my channel to explore my own thoughts on these topics and I feel like I've come to terms with them. I know it sounds simple, but I've come to accept the fact that I think differently. I think as long as I accept myself, I'm okay. I can't erase my history, nor my upbringing, nor my life experiences, nor my interests. They will always shape who I am. I have no problem with people disagreeing with me. I just feel like people are always trying to control me and my thoughts. I felt like I couldn't be myself. I began telling people in my immediate life my thoughts on sensitive topics, who I knew would disagree with me. I think that's what I actually wanted to do. This is for people in the US since for outsiders they just don't have the same relationship with these topics. I wanted to accept myself and be accepted, but I don't need that from the world. My mind hasn't really changed about anything and I think I've really tried to understand the other side and I can see the thought process, but I just don't agree. There's also the fact that I came on YouTube to start an art channel. That's why I actually came here, even though nobody's watching it. This was just supposed to be a side thing because I realized I had all these topics and thoughts that were sort of sitting on my chest and I wanted to sort through them. And I thought that it would be really helpful for people because it just seems like they just want to silence you. They meaning general society or the people in power or the TV or people on the left, however you want to put that. It also bothered me that there are young minority children who may have to hide what they think or who they are in order to be socially accepted by other minorities. I think this is particular to the black community from what I've seen and been told, but I'm sure it applies to others as well. Because you can't help who you are. I don't wake up every day saying, today I'm gonna be contrarian. I know there are deeper reasons why people do things, but I've also thought about that too, and I don't think it's just for attention. So that still bothers me in terms of people being like, we're your brothers and your sisters, and we care for you more than anybody else, but shut up, don't think differently. It also bothers me that whatever the intentions, victims are automatically stripped of the onus to self-criticize, which is what spurs growth and development. But I've really exhausted my thoughts in this area, and I don't want to keep thinking just for the sake of thinking for other people. I'm also planning to leave the city and moving here was a catalyst for all of these thoughts. Either way, for those of you who have followed my channel from the beginning, you've basically watched someone have what people call a racial awakening in the United States. I'm sure it was very interesting to see. I wasn't aware of my skin color or anything attached to it for a very long time. So all of this was pretty new to me, even after being in the United States for some while. But I see that my experience is unique and that's why identity politics is stupid because everybody's experience is unique. And I also know that my experience is not what people on the TV try to tell me. I'm going to say this again because it seems to me like something is upside down and not right. That the first and the most outright racism that I've seen is from the so-called biggest victims. I know the definition is being changed from what it meant in the past to mean unequal outcomes or identifying personal hidden thoughts instead of actual provable individual actions against someone or in laws in terms of structural racism. Still, even going along with that change, my mind is constantly being blown in terms of how one-sided the narrative is. How only some people get to be victims and only some people get to be perpetrators. I understand how the past worked and how awful it was, but I don't see how these issues can be solved if people aren't being honest. But I realize that the world does not want honesty. I'm not trying to be melodramatic. I really realize that they don't want it or people in general and society in general does not want it. That was probably my only actual mistake I've seen from starting my channel, thinking that the world would be okay with honesty. They want things to be better, but without it. That's just not going to happen. 
They don't want people to say what they think and they're not okay with people disagreeing. They can only think in certain ways. They think that they can achieve peace by the eradication of not evil actions, but evil inaction, evil thoughts, by getting inside people's brains and wiping out wrong think. The censorship, especially of a channel like mine, considering who I am on the topics, really made me see that. I will always have something to say when people speak for me, but I guess I'm just suggesting a change of focus. Let me know what you think. I do have a backlog of topics that never made it into video format. And if I continue, I'm not saying never again, not even, not saying occasionally, I'm just saying not as much. I would like to wrap up by saying that I acknowledge that my words, thought patterns and beliefs may be difficult for other people to accept and hear. They may even be seen as an attack though I think that is due to perception. I can't apologize because that would be unfair to myself, but I do acknowledge that. Thank you for watching my videos. Do let me know what you think because I'm really thinking about this of some sort of shift or just ending it, but I don't really want to end it. I would rather just change focus because I still, I'm still gonna have lots of thoughts on many things, including these topics. Thank you for watching my videos and commenting and sharing your thoughts and joining me on my journey thus far. This includes people who disagree with me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to support the channel. I'm still here. I have at least two videos coming up. Goodbye. And as always, I hope that you have a good day.